Hello everyone, welcome back to Combat Made Easy and I hope you all are doing very well. Before we begin, let me remind my dear students that the contents of this channel are only to supplement your knowledge, not to replace the regular online and offline classes in your institution. So please attend your classes and do not miss them. Also, if you like our contents, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the videos and share these videos with your friends, with your batchmates, with your juniors. Also, if you are a teacher, then with your students. Please follow our Facebook page and the link will be given in the description. Let us continue with the second part of acute respiratory infections. If you remember, we finished our last video with this particular slide where we classified ARI according to age group. Today, we are going to classify ARI and learn its management in children aged 2 months to 5 years. So whenever we are classifying any illness based on IMNCI guideline, we are trying to make decision about the type of the illness and also the severity of the illness rather than making any diagnosis. The child can be put in one of these four classifications which are very severe disease, severe pneumonia, pneumonia that is not severe and no pneumonia, cough or cold. This classification we already learned from this table. First, the very severe disease, we have to look for any of these danger signs if present and also what may be the possible reasons behind these danger signs. First is the, the child is not able to drink. The child that is not able to drink can have severe pneumonia or bronchiolitis, septicemia, throat abscess, meningitis or cerebral malaria which occurs because of falciparum malaria, so severe malaria. There can be convulsions or the child may be abnormally sleepy or difficult to wake. And these signs are present when there is uh, severe pneumonia resulting in hypoxia, sepsis, cerebral malaria or meningitis. Meningitis can develop as a complication of pneumonia or it can develop on its own. Stridor in a, uh, in a calm child indicates that there is life-threatening obstruction of the airway especially the upper respiratory tract like larynx, trachea or epiglottis. Maybe there is some kind of swelling and because of that, the child is in danger and it is in a life-threatening condition. Severe malnutrition, we already learned from our previous video that a child suffering from malnutrition may not show the typical clinical features of uh, acute respiratory infections. So there may be uh, not adequate cough reflex, the child may not have any first breathing or chest in drawing. So we may actually miss the cases. So that is why we must always be cautious whether the child is suffering from malnutrition or not, especially severe malnutrition. So if any of these danger signs are present, we classify the uh, illness as very severe disease. Please note, we are not saying very severe pneumonia. We are saying this is very severe disease because these danger signs can occur for any reason other than pneumonia also. What about treatment? This kind of children who are suffering from very severe illness or disease must be referred to the hospital. They should be admitted to the hospital for uh, management. They cannot be managed at home. The first dose of antibiotic is to be given. If there is fever or wheeze, they are to be treated. And if cerebral malaria is a possibility, then we have to start on antimalarial drugs. Now, children who are suffering from severe, very severe disease, uh, they are at high risk of mortality and they should be treated in a health facility as mentioned earlier because we need to give them oxygen therapy and other intensive monitoring are to be done. Some kind of supportive therapy in addition to the specific treatment of pneumonia may be needed. So because of all these reasons, institutional management is very important. About antibiotic, clonamphenicol is the drug of choice and it is given intramuscularly. We have to give it for 48 hours, that means the first two days. And if the condition improves, we can switch over to oral clonamphenicol. But uh, it should be continued for total 10 days. But if the condition worsens or deteriorates or it does not improve, that means it remains the same after 48 hours, then we should switch to intramuscular 
cloxacillin and gentamicin injections. We shall learn about the doses uh, after a few slides. The next one is severe pneumonia. So what are the clinical features that we have to look for? Chest in drawing with or without first breathing. So first breathing may or may not be present, but if chest drawing is present, we uh, classify it as severe pneumonia. Other than chest in drawing, we may have nasal flaring when the nose widens at the child breathes in. It shows the child has to put extra effort to breathe in. Grunting is a short sound that is made with the voice when the child has difficulty in breathing. And cyanosis can occur which is a dark bluish or purplish coloration of the skin caused by hypoxia. So if there is any breathing difficulty, if the child cannot breathe properly, there will be deficit of oxygen. So in case of hypoxia, cyanosis can develop. So uh, if chest drawing is present or any of these uh, signs are present, we classify it as severe pneumonia. Let me focus a little bit on wheezing. Some children with chest in drawing can also have wheezing. A child who has chest in drawing and first episode of wheezing is probably having severe pneumonia. But children with chest in drawing and also recurrent episodes of wheezing probably is suffering from asthmatic condition that is childhood asthma and it is very unlikely they are suffering from severe pneumonia. So that is why we must inquire about previous episodes of wheezing. The mother should be asked about whether uh, the child had wheezing in previous uh, episodes of respiratory distress or fever or cough etc. And if there are multiple episodes of wheezing along with chest injury, drawing, we must suspect that there can be childhood asthma. <clears throat> what about the treatment in case of severe pneumonia? Again, a child suffering from severe pneumonia should be referred to the hospital urgently. The first dose of antibiotic is to be given. The fever and wheezing if present should be treated. Now, what, are, what is the treatment of severe pneumonia? Especially we are going to talk about the antibiotic treatment. <coughs> For the first 48 hours, we should give either benzyl penicillin or ampicillin or chloramphenicol. All of them are given intramuscularly and every 6 hourly. That means 4 times a day. The dose of benzyl penicillin is 50,000 international unit per kg per dose. Ampicillin 50 mg per kg per dose and chloramphenicol 25 mg per kg per dose. Now after 48 hours when you review the review the child the condition can improve in that case for the next three days we switch to procaine penicillin 50,000 international unit per kg per dose but maximum up to 4 lakh international unit and that is to be given only once by intramuscular route or we can switch to oral ampicillin or oral chloramphenicol the dose is same 50 mg per kg per dose and 25 mg per kg per dose and it is to be given 6 hourly. But if after 48 hours there is no improvement, then for the next 48 hours we must change the antibiotic. So if ampicillin was being used, we can change to chloramphenicol. If chloramphenicol was being used, then we have to change it to cloxacillin 25 mg per kg per dose every 6 hourly along with gentamicin. 2.5 mg per kg per dose every 8 hourly. If the condition improves, continue treatment orally. Now, cloxacillin and gentamicin are given as injections intramuscularly and this is given in severe pneumonia as well as in very severe disease. So, if I go back a little bit here also in the treatment of uh, very severe disease, I mentioned uh, cloxacillin and gentamicin here. So this is about the antibiotic treatment of severe pneumonia. Along with that, we must provide symptomatic treatment for fever or wheezing if they are present, monitor fluid and food intake, advise the mother on home management when the baby is discharged. 
third classification is pneumonia that is not severe so the child only has first breathing and does not have any chest injuring chest injuring means severe pneumonia remember that and most children are classified in this category if they are brought early for treatment if the classification is delayed and by that time the child uh, the disease in the child has progressed uh, we can have cases of severe pneumonia or very severe disease but if the classification is done very early and the child is taken to the nearest hospital or healthcare center at very early stage in most of the cases we shall find the child is in the stage of pneumonia that is not severe what about treatment advise the mother to give home care so in case of pneumonia that is not severe we do not do not need to admit the patient to the hospital we can give home care so the mother is advised about how to give home care antibiotic is given and just like previous uh, classifications if there is fever or wheeze those are to be treated and the mother is advised to return after two days for assessment or earlier if the child is getting worse the antibiotic therapy in treatment for pneumonia the drug of choice is cotrimoxazole which contains sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim in 5 is to 1 ratio we can have pediatric tablet formulation or pediatric syrup formulation each tablet contains 100 mg of sulfamethoxazole and 20 mg of trimethoprim whereas 5 ml of the syrup contains uh, sulfamethoxazole 200 mg and 40 mg of trimethoprim so double the amount of each tablet now uh, we can give the drugs based on the age of the child or body weight of the child so in case of less than two months or if the body weight is in between three to five kg one tablet is given twice day or 0.5 ml or half teaspoon or half spoon of the uh, syrup is given twice a day 2 to 12 months or 6 to 9 kg body weight 2 tablets twice a day or 1 spoon or 5 ml twice a day 1 to 5 years or 10 to 19 kg 3 tablets twice a day or 7.5 ml twice a day so this is the dosage of cotrimoxazole either in tablet form or syrup form according to the age group or the body weight this is the treatment for pneumonia most of the children that we encounter and those children suffering from fever cough and cold they do not have the danger signs or signs of pneumonia like chest injury or first breathing they only have simple cough or cold and they're classified as no pneumonia cough or cold they do not need antibiotic because in majority of these cases the causative agent is a virus and antibacterial agents do not work against virus so that is why antibiotic is not necessary and normally a child with cold will get better in just one to two weeks however if a child with chronic cough that is uh, lasting for more than 30 days uh, the child can be suffering from tuberculosis or asthma or whooping cough or some other problem and in that case they must be referred uh, for further investigation uh, for treatment of no pneumonia cough or cold there can be presence of ear problem or sore throat so those are to be assessed and treated and if any other problems are present those are to be assessed and treated the mother is to be advised for home care fever and wheezing if present must be treated the child those who are on antibiotic therapy uh, especially oral antibiotic uh, or even injectable antibiotic we have to reassess them after two days so if the signs are getting worse the child is not able to drink or has chest in drawing or has other danger signs then the child must be referred to the hospital urgently <clears throat> if the signs are the same that means there is no improvement then we may need to change the antibiotic or we may even have to refer the child to the hospital but if the signs are improving the first breathing is going off so that means the breathing is getting slower there is not much fever or the frequency or the temperature is not as much as earlier and the child is eating better then 
the antibiotic course for five days must be finished this is the classification of ari as taken directly from the imnci chart and as you can see this is color coded we have severe pneumonia or even very severe disease which is uh, coded in pink color and pink means there is need of urgent hospitalization so this is the most severe form in the intermediate form is the pneumonia that is not severe and it is yellow color coded green color coded means it is good which is no pneumonia cough and cold so all the signs are given here and we already discussed this and also the treatment that is to be given initially have been mentioned here so with this we conclude today's session on classification of ari among children age 2 months to 5 years if you like the video please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your batchmates juniors and other friends we also have our facebook page that you can follow the link is given in the description take care and we shall see you in our next video